Hello and welcome to this session. In today's tutorial, we will cover the basic of validating Java Bean with the standard framework JSR380. So let's get started. The JSR380 specification provides many useful annotations that helps to check whether property of a bean meets specific criteria. To use the specification, we need to add this dependency. These include only the specification. We have also to provide an implementation of it. For our demo, I prepared this small project. This is my POM file and the dependency to the specification from the Java API. And this is the implementation. I'm using the Hibernate validator. So Hibernate provides an implementation for this specification. And this dependency depends also on Glassfish expression language. So I provided this as well here. So after that, I created this DTO. It consists of three properties and I annotate the name with size it means it check whether this name has the mindest size is should be three and the maximum 50 otherwise this entity will be marked as not valid and this will be the message and the email is annotated with annotation from the specification and when this is not a valid email we will get this message email is not valid and after that i implement the validator using this one validator factory I'm creating this one this is from this java specification after that i create a validator and after that i created the static method to validate my entity and to test the whole things i created this junit class this is the happy pet here as you see i'm creating user dto and you see that everything is okay valid email and the name is also okay and i'm using the created validator to validate the user and it shouldn't any violation in this case so let's run this one as you see it is green and the second one i'm testing when the name doesn't meet the requirement so the name consists of only one character the email is valid and the expectation that we will have only one violation we check that it has size and the message should be exactly name size should be between 3 and 50 if we test that as you see it is also green and the last test the name is correct and the email is invalid and again it should be only one violation with this message so let's run and as you see it works we could also add other test cases so this was a quick demo how to use java validation of beans i hope this was helpful thanks for watching and bye